so happy because it's sunny. It hasn't been sunny in ages. I'm making the most of the last moments of summer by painting outside. Can I see anything? No. No, I can't. The grass is green, the dogs are out, the sky is blue but that might be these glasses. So yeah, I'm just gonna do some sketchbook painting. Got a painting of a fried egg in a cash register to finish. I feel like I'm shaking because of the amount of coffee. Listen, I know I have a coffee problem, which was very obvious from the last vlog, but give the girl something. Here's to the last of the summer. Got my paints here, I've got my little water brushes, which have water inside them. Pretty self-explanatory, really. I purposefully poured my drinking water into a separate glass so I wouldn't drink it and immediately, immediately ruined it with paint. If anyone knows what happens, there's a wasp in the grass. What are you doing? What are you doing? I didn't know wasps like grass so much. I'm totally sitting on a wasp's nest, aren't I? Oh my gosh, aren't wasps so relaxing? Good morning. I look like I've just woken up. I haven't. I have five people's pets to paint. I'm so excited. Painting people's pets is my favorite, not just because they love the pets, but I love the pets and I love to paint the pets. So it's a win-win situation. The first pet I'm painting is this lizard. Oh, he's dusty. It's my friend's bearded dragon and it's called Spud. I mean, you can't really see the pencil, but I'm gonna gesso this board oil paint the lizard. Also appreciate this frog box that my friend Sylvia got me. Isn't he beautiful? Other than the lizards today, I want to start a Furby painting. There's a Furby Instagrammer who I adore called Furfur Chan. <laughs> Sorry, can't say that with a straight face. And I want to paint a portrait of them. Let's go. Side note, I've got paint all over my favorite jeans. So I don't know whether to paint my jeans. I mean, there's paint all over them, so they're kind of already painted. And then I tried to get rid of the paint and the white spirit just stained the rest of the jeans. <laughs> ugly, ugly paint stain. It's raining, so I'm waiting for it to stop. The woman in the post office hates me because I always tell her to put the labels down. She always just like slaps the labels down and like the label isn't completely down on the post. I brought a gummy pizza. I'm gonna review it for you. Snack review. I'm taking a break from painting to review the gummy pizza. I don't know what flavor this is. Pepperoni. Um, whoever designed this gummy pizza was confused. <laughs> Those colors aren't right, are they? It looks like teeth. <laughs> It looks like baby's teeth. <laughs> so for aesthetic value, I'd rate this probably a four, or maybe a three. The mushrooms look like teeth. He only went and put pineapple on one slice. Guess I'm eating that one first. Oh, it's really squishy. It's like foam, not gummy. Not getting any pineapple, not gonna lie. Let's try the baby teeth slice. Mm. Definitely getting teeth. No, do you know what? It tastes exactly like those teeth and lips. The teeth and lip candies that you get. The foamy ones. Not 100% sure on this. Wouldn't be buying it again. For 25p, it's a succulent meal. We're both out of it. I need some yellow lemon. 
I need to... <laughs> All I need is some lemon yellow oil paint. Don't let me buy anything else. Okay. We're here today with Hannah Snow, an artist from Brighton, UK. She is today. Okay, I, I hate this, I hate this. <laughs> There we go. Get it. I don't know if I want the cat's vault oh, brand. Right, what about this one? Oh my god. A million. I have to buy another one ever again. 30 pounds. Toxic. Oh. Damn. My toxic comes slipping under. Slip it under. We have the choice. Let's see. The hole. <laughs> We're going to see a play. I'm and we're not going the wrong way. Cages. Is it about cages? Hearts and cages, no feelings allowed. So we're going to try and work out what this play is about based on the mise en scène of this room. <laughs> the dramatic strings. I'm trying to make some aesthetic sounds. I'm guessing that cages is about a teacher, a vegetable teacher. A vegetable teacher. That's what you got. A herbologist. Room. What are you getting from this room? I'm getting murder mystery. You think a herbologist is like sitting in a dark corner of a room with an agroni? Can you make sense of this? This is the formula for slay. You do have a fourth era, which then leads into the biggest slay. E equals MC slay. Okay, now this is work. Hey, it's Vogue. This is 71 Questions. Oh, is now a good time? Sure, come in. This is my house. <laughs> <laughs> Smell. Oh my god, I can't. I literally can't be in here. I can't be in here! <laughs> my... Get me out! Did we think of the play last night? Wild time. Did you feel caged watching um, it? I did. I don't know. I felt caged. But I didn't feel like I was on a trip. They used some kind of effect for projections. There was this one moment where there was like a moon. I don't know if anyone's seen the mighty yes. boot. It was a projection of a guy's face on the moon. Yeah. And it was so warped. I couldn't look at it without crying. I was crying with laughter. It was like such a serious moment in the play. Yes. <sighs> but anyway, other than that, it was good. Yeah. We're gonna dye our hair. Oh, you're not dyeing your hair. You're dyeing your hair. I'm gonna dye my sideburns blonde. As you can see here, we have the algae that cover the water. Oh my god, did I tell you I saw a dead swan in here? But it was just floating and the head was just down. The other swans like swam up to I'm it. I'm trying to enjoy this bed. nice peaceful river moment. <laughs> Laying like this, head underwater. That's nice. Oh, beautiful scenes. The, the swans, the, the bikes, the construction. It's not a swan, it's a Canadian goose. Oh, there's so much algae on the water over there. Slaying. The painter must always seek the oh, essence. You wouldn't understand. 
Okay, seek the essence away. She's seeking the essence. Hello, this is Vogue 783 Questions. Are you seeking the essence today? I'm always seeking the essence, baby. How are you today? What's what's going on with Great. Hannah Snow? This is my garden. Oh. I spent years tending to the plants. Lovely. When did you when did you start your gardening? About 10 years ago, yeah. Have you always wanted to be an, a herbologist? Oh, yeah, yeah. I trained, I actually did my training in herbology. Where did you do your training? Uh, the London School of Economics. Wow, when was that? Pre prestigious. A prestigious. This is another one I've been cultivating. Wow. This is actually my own species of plant I started. It's genus Mortalis. It smells very interesting here. Do you know <laughs> anything about the smell? Oh, that would be my collection of, my antique collection. My own fragrance. Okay. I'm are you, are you selling it? I mean, it's still in development, as you can see. Okay. You know how like Ariana Grande has her own perfume? Yeah. I'm making it on that boat. All the chemistry stuff is in there. I've got a whole team in there. That's um, very fascinating. Yeah, I'm using recycled and found artifacts to create the fragrance. I see you struggle with the English language. Is it <laughs> your first language? <laughs> she was very weird. What would you do if I bought this? Does it smell like Ibiza? Oh, that is disgusting. What? Just that brush. Look at it. Do you want me to go all the way to your skin? Don't get my skin actually. Okay. I'm scared about this hair. Okay. I'm just gonna have to do the whole streak. Are you okay with that? Yeah. I'm going in. Oh, that's so cursing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm breathing in pure peroxide. <laughs> my hair's creating like oh, a hot <laughs> peroxide. Get them there. Right. I'm gonna now shave and not head. No. Okay, so I basically just want to cut off some of the length. What do you want me to do? Cut off some length. Well, I don't know how to cut with this. It's just the same if you just do this and you just open it. We should do that and the TikTok thing with it. Life in the salon. It's a very confident cut. The haircuts. How do we feel about Hannah's ratchet salon? Slay. This is the look, this is the fit. Styling salon. Oh my god, the buffaloes. Can't wait to stomp on you folks. Ah! Okay. I'm wearing Vegard's clothes. Let's see the gloss. In bourgeoisie. That's way too close. I'm trying to do a close up here. I feel like I just put lip gloss on like a straight man. Yeah. Pop off, this is wig snatched, the house down boots. <laughs> Don't be drunk. so dark already. It's like not even 4 p.m. I've forgotten what I filmed for this vlog. I think the last thing I filmed was Vagard dyeing my hair. His haircut came out okay. You know what? No, his haircut came out good. I am known for my hairdressing skills. Epson very kindly sent me a printer. This is not sponsored by Epson. However, I am doing a TikTok for Epson. So I'm gonna make some stickers using my iPad and the printer. Other than that, it's snail season at the moment because the pavement's wet. If you see a snail, pick it out the way so it doesn't get crushed. <laughs> 